Hello students and welcome to this calculus video. In this video we're going to start matching differentials to graphs and graphs to differentials and solutions and then we're going to be looking at a free response question. So let's get started. So in this section what we want to do is to match a slope field to a different to a differential equation. So we're given all of these graphs okay we can see that they are slope fields and what we want to do with this is okay on this page we're given a bunch of functions, a bunch of differentials, okay? What I wanna do with this is say, all right, here we have dy equals sine x dx. We wanna integrate like we've been doing, so I get y or f of x equals uh, negative cosine x plus c. So remember that plus c is what gives us these slope fields, all these possible solutions. So I'm thinking here with cosine of x, well, cosine of zero is one, but I, since it's negative, I wanna keep a negative when x is zero here. And the solution that I'm looking at in terms of all these graphs, of course, we want a sinusoid, and there's two of these graphs that look like sinusoids. There's d and i that look like sinusoids. But the one that I really, really want is i in this case, because for this cosine function, it's negative one, and the only one that's giving me that cosine function is answer choice i so here we have answer choice i now let's look at this next one dy dx equals e to the x of course we're going to do the exact same thing so dy equals e to the x dx we're going to integrate so this one's going to be a little bit easier y equals e to the x of course plus c so we have this exponential function. Remember e to the x or pretty much any exponential function kind of starts out here and then it just builds up. So what, which of these is going to give me that? Well, let me see all of these functions. Um, well, answer choice B kind of starts off really, really soft and then builds up to infinity, right? And so then that is going to be answer choice B in this case. So we're going to be filling these out. Um, you get the idea, nothing really has changed um, in terms of how do you actually find the original functions, the general solutions, of course, and go ahead and try to match these to the slope fields above. Okay, so that's gonna be all of our solutions. You can see them here in the video. What, if you're having trouble kind of remembering, what are the shapes of all these graphs? Ah, I don't remember my algebra, my math analysis. All you have to do is, okay, take in some test points, right? So let's take a two X plus four. We know that the slope field uh, is made using the differential. So two X plus four, I can substitute in a value for X. Let me just substitute in a bunch of Point. So 2x plus 4, I could substitute in all the zeros. So I'm going to end up with 0 plus 4. So they should all be 4 along that y axis. Because when I substitute an x, I get that y axis. And the only one where I'm getting something that is all positive 4 is on answer choice A, something that's all positive 4. You can see even that not even in answer choice B am I getting that because it doesn't even look like, yeah, across that y-axis they all look pretty uniform but the slopes aren't as steep as what i would expect a slope of four to look like so you can kind of see that and you can just continue to put in additional test points if you need to so moving on to our next examples uh we're now matching the slope field to solutions and notice here we're already given y and what you want to keep in mind is as we're doing these the slope field should pretty much match what these equations are because we're already given the original function. So here in number one, I know I should already be looking for something that's a linear equation. So, all right, so in number one, I'm looking for something that gives me a bunch of linear equations. Well, the only answer choice for that would be answer choice C. 
So I come down here, we put in answer choice C. So continue doing that in um, these examples and match all of these up to look at in just a second. Around and get lost. Don't think I'll ever truly pay back while I was lucky to get just by walking through the city. I'm a small part of this. That's going to finish out this exercise. Um, I want to do. I want to point out something as I was looking at number six and seven. Is that I kind of started to kind of sketch the graph so I can kind of know what I was looking at. But obviously, sinusoids can be a little bit more difficult because they're pretty much very similar. Any sine function can be turned into cosine function and vice versa. So which one of the graphs we're going to match it? Well, what I did in my thinking of this was I'm looking at sine of x. As I'm looking at sine of x, the sinusoid for that is that immediately after zero it's going it's increasing and then it starts to decrease and then it go back to increasing whereas cosine is coming down from the opposite direction so from zero it's decreasing and then increasing so i'm trying to keep in mind okay what does that first derivative look like and so that's how i decided on for number six answer choice b because yes we have two sinusoids as i'm looking at this I, I have answer choice b and e but for B, you can see that after zero, it is positive. It is positive and then it starts to decrease, something like that. Whereas uh, answer choice E is negative. It is decreasing and then it starts to go up. So that's how I made my choice between B and E, but so that I knew which one was gonna be sine and which one was gonna be cosine. All right, so moving on to some actual like AP multiple choice and free response questions. We're given a slope field here in this first question and we want to say all right which of our answer choices actually matches this slope field i could go and find the general solution for all of these but you can see that there's a product rule that's going to be happening and since we already know what the tick marks are on these on the slope field i do just kind of want to keep in mind that i could just substitute in these values so for example i could just use a random test point such as negative one comma one because i know the slope for that for all of these values in this line are going to be zero. So which one is that going to come out to be? So in this first one, if I substitute in negative one times one, I get a slope of one. So that cannot be it. In the second one, uh, negative one. So I get negative one and then uh, minus y, so minus one. And that comes out to be negative two. So again, not a slope of zero. So it cannot be answer choice B. So let's keep going with that idea. Negative one times one. So this comes out to be negative one plus one, so this comes out to be zero, so that's an option. Maybe it's answer choice C. Uh, D, I get the pretty much the exact same thing. Negative one, oh wait, no I don't. I get negative one times one, so this comes out to be negative one minus one. This comes out to be negative one, so this can't be our answer. And then finally, if we don't have any y values, I get negative one plus one cubed, so then that's going to be zero cubed, so this comes out to be zero. All right, so I have two candidates right now, C or E. And as I'm looking at this, we're trying to figure out, all right, what is like the best possible solution? So we're gonna grab another test point here and let, let's just kind of keep using this vertical because I know all of these are going to come out to be zero. So that makes my calculations really easy. Let's use negative one comma negative one in this case. So if I substitute in negative one minus one, I will get, negative one min times negative one, I get plus one minus the y, so minus one, which does come out to be zero again, great. But in this answer choice E, negative one minus one, I get something that is going to be negative one plus one is zero, and I get zero again. So I'm starting to kind of stress that I cannot keep using this vertical line. So I do need to start to choose a different point. Maybe I could use negative two comma negative one right here, or even negative two comma one, because I can see that this slope looks like it is positive one. And this slope here at negative two comma uh, one comes out to be negative one. So you could use whatever point here. Um, obviously something that works with either positive one or negative one would be best. So let's use negative two comma negative one and substitute that in. So here I'm gonna get negative two comma negative one, sorry, negative two times negative one. And then I'm gonna add this, so minus negative one, so my, or sorry, minus one, and I get two minus one, which equals one. So that one does work. So let's look at our other solution. I get negative two plus one 
cubed, so I get negative one cubed, which comes out to be negative one. And that shouldn't be negative. We, we only want a slope of positive one. So this one does not work, which means our answer choice should come out to be answer choice C. Now we're moving into possible free response questions. So we have a differential equation dy dx equals x over y. And first thing that we want to do here is take our function, our differential x over y, and we want to sketch a slope field for the equation. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, and that is going to be our slope field for this free response question. You get some nice symmetry here, kind of um, some outward star looking thing. And so that's going to be our slope field. Of course, like I said, you're not going to have to do this many points on a free response question. It's only going to be between like six and nine. But uh, let's move on to part B. Sketch a solution curve that passes through the point zero comma negative one on our slope field. So here is zero negative one and kind of the points around it kind of kind of creep up to it on either side. So you can kind of see that it kind of is a wide one that kind of points out like this and it gets a little bit steeper as we go, kind of like an upside down parabola. And uh, this is good enough, right? As long as we get the general shape. Of course, if our point changed and we had something that said zero comma three, something like that, then we would kind of have to do something like this. Let's notice how it does become quite different. And this is how we're going to be able to tell if you're right or wrong. Do you understand what you're doing in terms of slope fields? Now moving on to the final part, finding the particular solution. So we've done this before. So here's part C. We know we're going to want to split up the variables and split up the differential. So we're going to get y dy equals x dx. And we've done work here where we have taken the differential. So you're going to want to take the integral of both sides. And let's do some of this work and then we'll catch up in just a moment. Just by walking through the city, I'm a small part of this. Okay, and that is going to be our particular, our specific solution for f of x. If we took the derivative of this, we would get x over y. And this is what this entire exercise is all about, is what can you do to kind of say, okay, if I substitute it in the function zero and negative one, what would the slope look like? Well, the slope, go ahead, is I want you to graph our function negative square root of x squared plus one, and see what the derivative would look like. And the derivative would look like what we have on that slope field over there. Now what I would think would be really cool is if you changed the point from zero one or uh, one comma three, figure out what kind of particular solution you could get and look at how that sketch from the slope field would change based off of that point and then graph the derivative. See what you can do with all of those different values and making connections between our differential and our slope field. Of course, if you do need any help with any of the problems in the video, please reach out to me either in the comments or in an email or whatever method that you have. I'm Mr. Hernandez and this is Mr. Hernandez Teaches. Hometown, baby, we go way back All the situations, circumstances Still we don't mind steady going on I dance around the street lights Hey